Well, a new business is upping the ante of an average game of poker, but it's also drawing the attention of state officials who think it is illegal gambling. In a neighborhood full of fast food joints and strip malls, there's a little bit of Las Vegas there now. But the owners of a new poker outlet in Cedar Hills say there is no gambling there. However, the Oregon Department of Justice is not convinced. According to the Oregonian, state officials believe that the National Poker Challenge is running an illegal gambling operation. And they've asked police to investigate. Here's how the company works. Players pay the company to track their games, and if they do well enough, they're invited back to attend free tournaments. If they keep winning in those tournaments, they can go home with hundreds or even thousands of dollars. To the Justice Department, this looks a lot like gambling. However, company leaders say that since players can only win money during the free games, that makes it perfectly legal. For instance, when we have tournaments for cash prizes, no one in that tournament has paid a single cent to be in that tournament. So if we sit down and play any game, albeit Scrabble or anything else, as long as we haven't paid in and get paid out, there's no gambling. Attorney General, Sheriff's Department, police officers, come on down and play. We want to see you. We hope they will investigate us because what they'll find out is we're doing absolutely nothing illegal. Now, we understand that Washington County deputies may soon be investigating this poker game to make sure they're not doing anything illegal. Live from the Mobile Newsroom tonight, Jamie Wilson, the 11 o'clock news.